Hi there, I'm Nick Dimmock. I'm Investor Relations Director at Organic Heat Exchanges, and today we're in Organic Heat Exchanges factories, which make this marvelous machine here, the Energy Vault. It optimizes cooling, leading to carbon and financial savings of in excess of 50%. You can charge up your cooling system when electricity prices are zero, negative, or at least low, and you don't have to draw electricity from the grid when prices are expensive. In Britain, 10% of all the power used is consumed in cooling. Countries such as Australia, Arab Emirates, General Middle East, uh, Equatorial America, 80% of all the power they produce goes in cooling. 80%, it's phenomenal. So if you can decide when to power the cooling system and from which source to power it from, i.e. solar, wind or surplus power on the energy grid, you can end up with not only a low carbon solution, but a financially very viable solution. If you have your own renewables, you can effectively carbon neutral your cooling. And that is a huge step forward. A one megawatt hour energy vault battery can probably manage to offset 80 to 100,000 pounds worth of electrical energy a year. A three year payback on a capital investment is, is never a bad thing. Uh, we've probably been here around about six months now, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, from design upwards. Uh, but there's been a lot of work, a lot of work involved with it. We were worried initially that the take up wasn't good. And then we realized that actually our technology was a closely guarded secret. No one knew about it. So we employ 350 ppm to increase our profile. The, the customer interest that we've had um, from all over the place has been even more positive than what we anticipated. But as soon as we've got the demonstration unit out there working, doing what it says on the, on the tin, customers will be placing orders. This machine is going into Quotient Sciences, an American-owned company, five, yeah. five operations in the UK. Uh, the anticipation is driven by a will to reduce carbon that they will take a commercial version of our machine here and then they will look at their other four establishments. So already our order book is starting to fill up. We now believe that we'll be selling Energy Vault earlier than, than the original plan and therefore our plans for UK rollout have been brought forward. We went along to Sterling Scientific. They've got problems in summertime when they can't meet temperature. They're looking at probably multiple energy vault systems to cover their uh, stoppages um, by our warming climate. For years and years and years, the factory has been there. It's never had these temperature squeezes. They have a handful of days a year that the temperature peaks above their operational level. When they stop production, they lose millions in days. We now have two variations of the Energy Vault system. We have what I call an integrated system, which fully integrates with a customer's cooling system. And we've got a standalone system where it doesn't need to integrate to quite the same degree. These have got slightly different applications, therefore slightly different markets, therefore more market potential. I was reached out to by Burton's Biscuits, just down the road in Blackpool. They've been acquired by Ferro Rocher. Fox's Biscuits also been acquired by Ferro Rocher. Ferro Rocher's mission statement is reduce carbon. So immediately we have 15 Burton's factories and I think 10 or 12 Fox's factories all now uh, pressurized by their new owner to reduce carbon. How do you reduce carbon? And then well, knocking why? at the door comes a carbon there reduction technology. We've had discussions with potential JV partners or distributors in North America. Phone calls from Australia, from UAE, from Dubai, from America, wanting to know more and when they can have our technology. The beauty of having it drawn in CAD now has ended up in a template that can be used internationally so that we can literally have this machine made anywhere by able engineering companies. It's a global, uh, global system, global product. So again, the, the plans now are to bring forward the international rollout early in 2024, which is earlier than the original plan. Being a small workshop and being a British workshop and proud of our engineering, what we wanted to also do was to be capable of the first stages of commercial construction, four machines a month. We work to an August year end in 2023 calendar year. So the intention is that next year we'll sell up to 10. 
um, energy volts uh, in the year. So that's relatively modest scale up, but that should have us as a two and a half million revenue business within 12 months. But from 2024, we'll be looking to exponentially grow the number that we sell, so we'll be scaling up very quickly. This is an accountant talking about exponential. Fantastic. If customers have a fairly standard operating profile, then the core control systems will work very well. If they want to maximise the economic value from optimization, then our AI software does the job. We now see an opportunity to actually charge that as a monthly licence fee for the software. It's nice to be part of this technology that's going to move a lot of things forward in this world, I think. Obviously you've heard from Bob and you've heard from David, things could not be going better. So from an investment point of view, this is the second round. Please don't hesitate to click on the link, download an information memorandum, book a time in my diary to speak to me or call or send me an email and look forward to speaking to you about investing in the second round of Organic Heat Exchanges.